Let's go. And I noticed something that um pink bicycle. What's pink bicycle? Oh, that restaurant, the pink bicycle. Oh, yeah, yeah, the one that you took me to when we went downtown for burgers. Yeah. What um, about it? Well, their their pickles are so lovely, and I don't, I can't stand pickles. But you like their pickles? Yeah. Maybe they're kosher pickles. Yeah, and that might be it, because it's they're pickles that are really uh, like rippled. What with their skin? Yeah, the skin is really rippled. That's probably homemade pickles then. Do you know if uh, the Pink Bicycle is a Jewish restaurant? No. No? So I took my new shoes for a test run with you yesterday. These ones? These ones, yeah. And I got back fine. Oh, no blisters? No blisters. I think it was just that the socks were too thin. No, no uh, um, horror story? No. No horror story. Ooh. That's what happens if you put your recycling out too early on a windy day. The house, Jenny. Good. Getting on with her life. How's Prada? Oh, disobedient. Disobedient as always. That's a she dog, right? Yep. Well, pit bulls are the the most disobedient dogs. Are they, um... Those quarter collies. Hang on. Hello. You can get them to be obedient right away. No. But pimples take longer. But is Prada trained as a... as a protection animal? Or like a... A, a guard dog. dog? No. Family dog. Just a family dog. So she should be okay with kids then. She's not going to bark at people. Well, she does. She does? Yep. Mm-hmm. I think that's just natural for dogs to be protective. It's been ages since we ran Lambrick together. Probably two years. No, no one year. My friend Norman still asks me about you sometimes. He says, are you still running with Derek? <laughs> Because he knows I run with Graham. Did you say yes? Yeah. I bet the rec center's packed today. Yeah. You know why? Why? Because it's New Year. All these people say, oh, I'm going to get in shape. And on a day like today, they're not going to want to go and run in the, in the park, so they... They're all going to go into the gym and run on the treadmill. Oh, what a bunch of non-runners. Well, it's difficult for some people to get motivated. Hello. 6.35. Yeah, well, I was running a little faster when I went out earlier. What, what, what's the speed? What's the speed? 6.30. Wow. We're running at 6.30? Average. No, no, that's because I ran first. And this is still the same workout. It'll slow down a bit. We're not running that fast now. That's the hardest part. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, I always, I always used to say that just there. When I first started training. Well, it's the only hill. That too. The only uphill. Do you remember Michael, Zaren's friend from? Oh yeah. Skyhaven Games. Yep. 
He's moved. Oh, where? He lives out by Elk Lake. He got Carlos to buy him a couple of video games. Yep, from the States. And when Carlos was here, he brought them. I think you're allowed to buy certain things, but you're not allowed to bring as many things as you want. Otherwise they think you're doing it as a business. Hi. Looks like a nice day, but it's probably only two degrees. If we do it up for a business, it's better to buy it off eBay. Probably. Otherwise, they charge you customs duty. If you bring in two items, they think, oh well, that's just for personal use. But if you bring in six, then they say, okay, this guy is obviously selling the extra, so they charge you. I can actually feel the the warmth from the sun. Yeah, that's why, it was, that's why it's so hot. Well, if you stopped, you'd be cold, but as long as we keep moving like this, yeah. you see that woman, she's speed walking. She's probably staying warm, but she's got a big coat on as well. We'll probably see her again. Hello. Did you see her earmuffs? They were like headphones. Maybe they were. Maybe they were furry headphones. This brings back old memories. Oh, we're not the, the owners anymore. No, we don't own this. They probably overlapped us by now. Yeah. We don't own this trail anymore. I used to come this way when I used to go and see Mavis. I told you she died, didn't I? Yeah. How old was she again? Ninety-four. Ninety-four? Yeah. <laughs> Amazing, eh? But she spent almost three weeks in hospital. They kept her in because her leg wasn't healing. And she just got weaker and weaker. So they couldn't send her back because she wasn't healed. They were going to transfer her to another ward, but uh, she died before that. How'd you feel? Good. All right. Because when we're going back that way, we'll be heading into the wind. You see the flags? Yeah. Where's uh, the United States one? No, that's BC. There's Canada, BC, and the white one, I don't know. Maybe that's Saanich. The Saanich flag. Or maybe it's the white flag of surrender. I give up. Oh, watch out for the raccoon. Oh, yeah. Still have that episode. <laughs> I think so. The day we saw the raccoon, it was just around here. My dog, the dog almost bit me. I think I still got that one too. See, now I would say it was warm because we're out of the wind. So you got more gigabytes now? What for? Oh, a gigabyte for your phone? Space? 
for your computer? No, I, well, I just delete. I delete a lot of the older episodes. But uh, this laptop has more gigabytes than the old one, right? Now, when I say I have the episode, it's on Spreaker. Alley oh. up. It's on Spreaker. And then I delete it from my laptop. I don't need to keep the raw file because that's what takes up space. If I want to download it again, it's on Spreaker. Do you notice if you don't delete it from your computer, your computer gets slower? Uh, a little bit, yeah. I, I have 30 gigabytes spare on my computer, which is quite a lot. I have about 30 right now, and my computer's going really slow. Yeah. It's like... Okay, more. No more again. Yeah. No more downloading. But you should delete what you don't want to listen to again. What? Delete what you don't want to listen to again. Well, the problem is... I have to keep all them. Oh, because they're, they're not uh, sound files? No. Here. Um, Movies. Movies. But same with movies. You don't need to keep them all. Where did you get them from? From uh, websites. What, like BitTorrents? Yeah, that's it. Okay. But you can get them again from BitTorrent. You don't have to keep them. Well, then it takes uh, longer to download them again. You have to wait until it's done. Yeah, but let's face it, how often do you watch the movie again? Um, never. <laughs> so why keep it? You're what they call a pack rat. Yeah. You like hold, hoarding things. Three holding uh, okay. Holding downloads. Yeah. I'm the opposite. I delete things. The minute I have listened to it once, or watched it, I delete it. Hi. So we know that she got from up there by the fence to here. But I bet she's not doing the full lap. I bet she cuts across the middle. I'm testing my new wind filter. Really? Yep. Well, today's a very windy day. And if this recording comes out well, I won't need to record tomorrow. I can just use this one. I'm looking forward to that warm section on the other side. See that guy? Yeah. He runs a business with his bicycle and that trailer. He calls himself the bicycle plumber. What is that? What is that? He does plumbing work, but he doesn't have a truck. He does his business with his bicycle. That's a good idea. Yeah. Sure is. He gets his exercise. He doesn't have to pay for a van. As long as the trailer is big enough for his tools. And it looks pretty big, that trailer. He's over there. Yep. I saw another guy like that and he was running a landscaping business and using his bicycle for his tools. Now they're trying to use uh, restaurants on trucks. Mobile restaurants, yeah. I think they're, le they're legal. What? 
Yeah. They, they are legal. Oh, they are? If you have a permit. Yeah. What they're trying to do is they're trying to cut down on the illegal ones. The guys who just are selling like hot dogs in the street without a permit. Okay, into the sun. So, so. Oh, this one's okay. Yeah, the next section's warmer. You can tell by the flags which way the wind's blowing. Nobody's playing tennis today. Nobody's uh, even walking their dogs, but I think that's more to do with the fact that it's one o'clock in the afternoon. Everybody's at home eating. Except you, me, and that Chinese lady. And the, and the plumber on his bike. Probably not anymore. I don't see him anymore. No, he's left the park. Elvis has left the building. I was watching a video on YouTube just now about some guy who paid for somebody to kill him. He wanted to die, but he didn't want to kill himself, but he wanted to pay somebody else to kill him. Well, it's strange. Well, probably because it's, it's too more scary to try to kill yourself. Yeah, but the silly thing was that the first time the guy hit him with a shovel a couple of times and then changed his mind and the guy didn't die. He went back in the truck with him. <laughs> the guy who asked to be killed survived the first attack. Well, and I thought you said Elvis asked somebody to kill him. No, no. I guess Elvis killed himself indirectly because of his lifestyle. He was drinking and eating and taking drugs. Anyway, so... The guy who wanted to be killed went back and asked the guy again, listen, I'll give you $4,000 if you kill me. So they went back and he did it. He killed him. And the guy got caught and uh, he was jailed for, I think it was assisted suicide, they called it, or reckless manslaughter but he still got 10 years in prison well he was young he was 22 when the guy hired him to kill him I think that's what it was because they said he got a thousand weeks of jail or a, what was it, a hundred months? No, a thousand weeks. What? Thousand months. Ten months, ten years? I don't know. It's ten probably years twenty enough. years. Twenty years? Ten years. Twenty, uh, ten years is ten thousand months. No, ten years would be, there's twelve months in a year. So oh. one thousand two hundred. Oh, one thousand months. That's probably what they gave him eight and a half years or something like that. And they might have let him out on parole or something for good behavior. You never know. Well, I'm glad I have you to talk to today. But he went to jail for a prison you probably thought. And I thought I would get a bad thing because you're looking at other people that did they worship stuff. Yeah. He just helped the guy do what he wanted to do. Yep. And he was caught. But still, he should have said no. Well, 
Well, he still gets to keep that money, doesn't he? Yeah. Did he still get to keep that four thousand dollars? I think the guy ended up only paying him two thousand dollars. He didn't have any more money. He said he left the money in the guy's mailbox. Early up. In the mailbox is no more. No, when he got back, he looked in the mailbox and there wasn't four thousand. It was only like. 2000 But he could hardly go back and ask him for more because he knew that he'd killed the man. It's funny, I recorded while I was running that race, but the trouble was that because I was racing, I really didn't have a lot of oxygen to talk. I was saving my energy just to run. So all you hear for the whole episode is just me, but not talking, just the sound of me running. Well, there's no old house there anymore. Nope. But they took away the Coca-Cola machine as well. It used to be a vending machine. I guess they figured that it would be vandalized. I don't know if they play baseball here in the winter. I don't think so. Whoa! <laughs> Not to me, it didn't. Not for you, though. No. You're like, God damn it. <laughs> That's what they call the wind chill factor. Okay, so we have about a mile to go. Once we turn that corner, I think it's 1.4 kilometers all the way around. I have a new follower on Spreaker. Somebody started listening to my shows. You know that you can now download from Spreaker? You can listen to it offline. Well, you know how before you couldn't listen to Spreaker unless you were on Wi-Fi. Now you can download an episode and go out for a run. Can you download it onto your iPad? Yep. As long as you got the Spreaker app. I, I only have a Spreaker Studio. Yep, yeah, well that's good enough. For the Spreaker Studio app, you can use it. You can download and listen to it offline. Somehow the, uh, the, iPad, the iPad doesn't let you download Oh, regular one. It only lets you download studio. The studio app. With the iPhone, you can download both. Well, I think they upgraded it and they took out the old Spreaker app. And now they just use the studio app. Halfway to my goal. What? I set up a, a goal today to run one hour, 20 minutes, which means that I've, I've run for 40 minutes today. So far. By the time I get home, it will be about 50 minutes. This wind is pretty severe.
You're doing pretty good, Derek. I'm very proud of you. For somebody who ran yesterday, I said after New Year's, you were going to I get said, serious. Yeah, I said no more um, scuffing around, no more junk food, well, no more excuses, no more, no more white bread. Yeah. Well, mostly no more excuses. Yeah. Right? That's it. No more excuses. Wonder if uh, Graham would do the same thing. Well, I had to bail on him. What? Yep. Because of the ice, I had to cycle over. I didn't want to slip. But so you still ran on them? I did, but you know, I went on the days that it wasn't icy. But because we only run on Thursday, I had to hope that the Thursday wasn't icy. And then last Thursday was icy, and it was four days before my race. So I told him I didn't want to come over in case I fell off my bike just before the race. I don't want to get injured. But this Thursday, what I might do is I might run there, run with him, and then run home or get the bus home. Depending how the rest of my week goes. Because you know I try and run 10 hours a week. Last week, you know how much I ran? 10.01. One minute longer than I needed to. It's okay. Yeah. But I don't go for 11 because that would be more than I need. But I don't stop at 9, if you know what I mean. I might stop at 9 and a half because that's close enough. And because I didn't do any cycling, it was all running last week. This week I've I've planned to do at least one long bike ride. Going to Graham's is about 50 minutes round trip. Going to you is about 90 minutes round trip. So if you want to run again with me, maybe tomorrow, what I can do is come over to your place on my bike, then we could run together, and then I could ride home. How about that? Yep. Seeing as you made the effort of coming to me this time. Well, or I could do the right. The big run. The bike. Oh, right bike. out to the pigs? Yeah. Well, I'm on your bike. That's true. We could meet at the drinking fountain. And I could buy you a coke. Yeah, at the at that place. The restaurant. And I don't busy with my bike. I have to clean it up and stuff. Yeah. Well, the good thing about this weather is that because it's so cold, there's no mud. So even if you're riding on dirt, you don't get mud splattering up. Okay, so that's what we'll do tomorrow. I can meet you at the pit at the drinking fountain at let's say 10:30, and we can go out to the restaurant or the pigs, depending. How you feeling? Hello. No, no. She didn't have the big furry headphones. But you've got to hand it to the Orientals. The, the Oriental people, the Chinese, the Koreans, the Japanese, they get more serious about exercise. They take it more seriously they 
they go out even if it is cold. Hello. I've never seen Asian people in the gym. You see, sometimes, but they're normally out walking. So on the way back, you're going to peel off at Jenny's uh, and get your jacket. Your house. Your house has my jacket. Oh, you left it at my house. Okay, I thought you walked over without your jacket. Cadence. And almost. Reebok doesn't have cadence with. What's it called? Cloud. Cloud nine. On the cloud. On the cloud. On the cloud. Yeah. You'll probably need to get a new pair of shoes. What? Pretty soon. These are brand new. Nah. You've had them about six months. These are really good. I remember you saying they were light and comfortable. Get the on cloud two. Yeah. The advanced version. Where um, the guy in the front wingers, he said, Yeah, that's your fare. And then and I said, No, I, I have to get a cheaper version. It's because he likes to see how you walk and stuff. Who does? Guy at oh yeah, that's good. So, Was it an older man? Yeah. I know him, Mike. Yeah. Mike Siminski. Yeah. He so made me do that. So on the cloud advance, I have to get next time. Yep. Did you tell him you knew the jackal? What? Did you tell him you knew the jackal? Oh, I did. Good. Because he would have given you better service. Because you know how sometimes they like to cut you short. They say, oh, I haven't got time for this. And they say, I'll be right back. And they leave you alone. What? What's up? You got a stone in your shoe? That's a rock. That's almost a boulder. It's almost a boulder. I thought you'd hit the wall. I thought you'd blown up. I thought you'd done a robbie on me. You'd done an uncle on me. So that's three laps of Lambrick that we've done. And now we just do the last little 300 meter dash back to my house. Sometimes when I run in the summer, when I get back indoors in the yard, and she always sprints to the door to, to beat me. She always tries to beat me to the door. Five minutes, 18 seconds ahead. That's pretty good. How fast were we going? Six minutes, 52 was our, our average pace. So under seven. And seven and a half minutes is Spanish pace. How much are you now? Probably around 640. 
high, maybe 650. I'll tell you when we get home. It's always good to walk across these crossings because sometimes if you run the cars don't think and they swerve in front of you. They don't think quite. No. The other day I was coming home and I got to the corner of my street and there was a guy on a skateboard coming down the sidewalk and there was a postal woman in her little truck and we both ended up giving way to the man on the skateboard we were so surprised terrible all this garbage it's gonna be uh, Somebody might get a fine for that. Yeah. For leaving unattended garbage. And look at all the birds. All the crows. Well, the crows certainly like my yard. Okay, well done, Derek. So this is the running jackal and his buddy Derek recording an episode one day early. Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs>